Hi guys. Uh, so today um, I wanted to do one of my <laughs> favorite topics, uh, twin flames, <laughs> right? Favorite topic, but also a very controversial topic, and I really don't want to rub anyone off wrong. But it is something that I am very intrigued about, and it is something that I'm passionate about as well. Um, but before we go into this, um, just a little disclaimer, <clears throat> and I keep repeating that in all my piles. Please use labels wisely. We don't want to be attached to someone because of a label. I think we all know that by now. And it's a very, um, you know, psychological thing to attach a label and then get attached to a person. <clears throat> so with that in mind, you can call it whatever you want okay you can call the relationship a twin flame a soulmate relationship a divine partnership whatever it is you want to call because i personally although believe in the topic of twin flames very much so but i also believe meanwhile that each connection um, should be treated as a twin flame connection because each connection is um, unique, each connection is uh, worthy, unless, of course, you know, it's not for your highest good, they're not treating you well, etc. Um, so, with that said, <clears throat> um, let's get into the topic uh, that I'm going to do today. This is definitely about Twin Flames. Um, or secret partnerships or whatever uh, the topic is how awakened is your person to this connection how awakened are they are they aware of this connection uh, or not in which stage are they of awareness of this sacred partnership okay it's not necessary that the person um, you know would be aware of the label or even the concept uh, of twin flames or soulmates it's just um, what we're looking at here is whether they're aware of this connection and to what extent they're aware right so with that said please keep that question in mind uh, how aware is your twin flame to this connection Pile 1, Pile 2 and Pile 3. Pile 1 is the Blue Buddha. Pile 2 is the Brown one. And Pile 3 is the Orange one. Okay, so... <laughs> Please, uh, I'm laughing because, you know, I don't know, maybe these indicators tell us something. Maybe this person is a little, doesn't want to hear things. This one doesn't want to communicate and this one doesn't want to, mm, I think, think, <laughs> whatever. Okay, please pause your videos and pick your bias. Right, so let's start with pile one. Okay, um, so pile one with the blue Buddha. How uh, awakened or how aware is your twin flame to this connection between both of you? I'm assuming um, you know who they are. <clears throat> so please keep that person in mind and um, I hope you've picked the pile that way. Opportunity beckons. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. 
Queen of Swords. Embrace. And from the journey of love, the blood dance. Okay, I hope these things are fitting in. Hmm. I think they are. Please give me a minute while I settle my cards. Okay, I think this should be fine. Right. <clears throat> so, pile one, how awakened or aware is your twin um, to this connection? Right. Now, I'm going to talk about the phases or the stages um, that I can see here. That's generally how I read. So, please apply it as it fits. Your person could be in any stage, depending on the way they're communicating. You would know. <clears throat> uh, I also want to put in here that it's possible you might not know this person you might just be energetically or psychically sensing them and so please apply that situation as it fits as well okay now pile one your twin flame <laughs> seems to be someone who's very logical all right with the queen of swords here I feel that they are somebody who doesn't like to lose control so much or at least they might have been that way depending on the stage they are in in terms of the awakening right this person seems to be someone <clears throat> very pure i see white here i also see water here right which means this is a person who's emotional also it's an air element card i am seeing air as well this person seems to have a pretty good balance of air and water. So this is a person who doesn't... Um, I'm not seeing this Queen of Swords as someone extremely rigid. I just see this person as someone who's discerning, you know. This person doesn't just take anything and everything that comes to them in terms of, you know, uh, maybe psychic telepathic contact and all of those things, you know, all the things that are inherent in a twin flame relationship, um, this person might just analyze and um, think about it before accepting things. For some of you, I feel this person might also be someone very logical, very practical, very, um, very much in their headspace. Uh, someone who's used to uh, analyzing things, right? Controlling things, controlling life, controlling aspects of life. So they are not very good at letting go this person <clears throat> okay they want to know their answers they want clarity right now i sense what's going to happen or what has happened whatever the case is with your twin there has been a spark of awareness that has come in i feel that this was something like an awakening right from the queen of swords they are going to the ace of wands all right now this looks like a pathway to me and with this pathway i sense that you know your person um has had some sort of an awakening all right some light has been shined <clears throat> and this person has emerged with a lot of passion for you in their heart with the ace of wands it's like one day they were in this kind of energy where everything was practical rational analytical but suddenly this person uh, started feeling passion for you all right a glimmer of um, familiarity <clears throat> A feeling of passion a feeling of awakening and I sense you know with the placement of these cards I feel that this person might have analyzed these feelings and that's what led to the blood dance 
<laughs> okay, I'm laughing because this is typically what happens, right? Like I am a practical person myself, but then I have a very spiritual, you know, um, sort of intuitive side to me. So I always end up analyzing <laughs> my insights. So I am seeing the same kind of energy and analyzing spiritual and psychic insights really can drive you crazy at times <laughs> because there are certain things which are you know um, out of the boundary or out of the realm of uh, logic right I mean I've given up <laughs> practically trying to explain everything in my life and I'm just going with the flow so it feels so much better but I sense that your person <clears throat> at least in the stage they are in or they have gone through the stage, have gone through this uh, <clears throat> push and pull uh, with their feelings. All right. I'm going to read out the blood dance. It's a number six card, right? Which also means that <clears throat> their feelings might have won out or their feelings were so strong, it made them question why they were even having these feelings right i sense that your person might have gone through a lot of up and down push and pull within themselves for some time after their awakening to this connection <clears throat> now with the card the blood dance <clears throat> it says the oracle brings you the confirmation that you are connected to the divine source to all that is if you're experiencing a phase of feeling cut off from yourself from your body from another or from the divine even from your own feelings spiritual connection or intuition be reassured that this is temporary and part of the cycle of life itself soon all connection shall return with even greater warmth and nourishment welcoming you home again with great love if you feel you have been journeying in life and the fear that you have and fear that you have lost your way do not trouble yourself precious soul you are never far from the divine heart and will always be called home the poem here says <clears throat> love's language speaks like sound of falling leaves caressing wind to bear aroma sweet you ask if i can love in measure true and give emotions weight the scales due each tear releases more than words can say, expressing all my heart wants to convey. Yeah, so your person has been going through intense emotions. With that card also, I feel they might have, you know, um, gone through a period of withdrawing from people, from, um, you know, connections in general, right? Isolating themselves, going in hermit mode because they wanted to sort out you know because this is a, a card of intellect and this is a card of passion they are two different things and here i'm seeing the dance of these two different elements basically air and fire the blood dance and <clears throat> after this um you know turmoil that your person faced regarding this connection your twin face regarding this connection i sense they have or they will embrace this connection <clears throat> this is an amazing card to get it's a number three card it's a very powerful card it's a master number and here i am seeing a heart a golden heart which is growing um branches your person has awakened or will awaken very soon they are in the growth process i sense for a lot of you this person is growing the seed of uh, this connection the seed of awareness of this connection has started within your person's heart it's the golden heart it's the twin flame heart that is glowing and i see this glow coming here as well this person's crown is also glowing. So this is your person embracing this connection in its full entirety because the awakening has happened. And they've uh, embraced the awakening after going back and forth between mind and heart. You know, your person has finally chosen to embrace this connection 
or will choose to do that. Please apply the stage as it fits. I'm also seeing a lot of purple here. I mean, I'm actually seeing a lot of colors here. I'm seeing blues, purples, reds and pinks, yellows. This is all the chakras actually. This is the world card also of this deck, which means, um, you know, accepting something radically and liberating oneself uh, of tension. So, <clears throat> pile number one, your person will embrace this connection. They will uh, surrender to this awakening. The feelings are already there, I sense. Very strong feelings with the Ace of Wands, possibly... Uh, your person might be experiencing this connection with, uh, you know, a feeling of passion, if not emotion, then the very first feeling they might have had was intense attraction towards you because generally twin flame relationships have a very strong attraction, um, attraction template. Um, there is extremely intense, um, passion, sexuality, attraction in a twin flame connection and ace of wands to me is signifying that. So it's possible your person's passions were awakened and they were very confused as to why this is happening and that was the first indicator for your person, right? Now, I sense that this person, after they have gone through this turmoil, they will embrace the connection in all its it's a uh, splendor i i'm hearing uh it's going to awaken their all their chakras i'm seeing crown heart uh mainly crown and heart chakras are going to you know explode open they are going to be um in alignment <clears throat> in alignment once your person has accepted to go with the flow of their feelings, of their passion, this um, <clears throat> awakening of the chakras, the alignment of the chakras is going to happen. All right. I do feel for this pile mostly uh, that this person is going to embrace this connection. Okay. Um, now, after that, I'm seeing that it's possible you guys are, you know, uh, far away from each other because with two of wands and then the embrace card, which has a globe here, the opportunity beckons card, which again has a globe here, I'm sensing distance here. It's possible it could be, you know, within, I mean, within your nation or it's even possible, I'm sensing this is international somehow. Okay, it's possible you guys are really, really far away in different continents or something, but please take it as it resonates. <clears throat> I feel once your person awakens to this connection, they are going to be looking for an opportunity to travel to you or connect with you. There is a sense here of distance, I feel. There is quite a sense of distance here. I also feel that your person with the two of wands is uh, looking at signs and synchronicities, um, you know, that the universe is sending to them. Uh, two of wands, again, for me also is a twin flame indicator. And I sense it's almost like spirit is like constantly showing them uh, something, giving them messages. Uh, and this person almost seems to be expecting um, messages to come. You know, once they've embraced this connection, this person, um, your twin, is going to be expecting um, synchronicities to lead the way to an opportunity <clears throat> that they are seeking to connect with you. All right. Uh, with this, I sense it's possible either you guys um, sort of are not in communication, you're at a distance. If you haven't met this person, um, then this person is kind of, they know that, you know, you are there somewhere. Maybe they know energetically or maybe they are connected to your social media or something like that. But this person, I feel, wants to what is would be looking for an opportunity to travel to you 
I feel. They want to see you face to face. They want to talk to you face to face. It's possible with the Ace of Wands, uh, your person might at first um, send send you a, a message or give you a call or something like that to start things off. No matter where you are in this connection, whether you're uh, in separation or a not yet met or whatever it is, or broken up, um, whatever it is, I sense this person is going to start off communication with, um, you know, maybe a message or an email or call or something. And then they want to travel to you. I really sense this person wants to meet you face to face. And <clears throat> with this opportunity beckons card, it's like, you know, the universe is pushing them. Their intuition is pushing them to take an opportunity on this connection and um, maybe travel to you or meet you or something like that. All right. I'm, I'm very strongly seeing travel with these three cards here. <clears throat> so what I'm really getting is that your person eventually is going to embrace this connection fully. All right, I am seeing an awakened twin flame. I'm see seeing the golden heart, the divine heart of the twin flame. And with this, somehow this to me is the central card, the answering card. And it is also number three, which is uh, the third energy after a twin flame union, right? And this is an awakening heart. This is a growing heart. This is also going to help heal the planet. Once you guys are coming into union, your energies are going to help heal the planet. This connection has a lot of potential, is what I'm seeing. It might take time, I feel. It might take any time, any, anything from one to three years is what I feel. But please take the timings as they resonate. All right. But this is a connection uh, that is destined, I sense, to come to a completion of sorts. There might be time, you know, uh, because I do sense that your person is not someone, you know, who just um, goes with the flow too much. And I don't blame them. Um, you know, one needs to analyze everything. One can't, you know, totally just take in everything and i sense your person smart right uh, but they are not closed off i'm in nowhere in no card am i seeing that this person is closed off they might be a little mm, intimidated by their feelings that is something i definitely feel because i feel that this person has very very intense feelings for you intense passion intense emotion they feel all of this and then they question you know why am i feeling this for some of you it might even just be a very brief uh, meeting and this person is pretty shocked you know uh, why they're feeling so much in such a brief encounter for some of you, if you have been in a relationship with this person, they don't understand, you know, why is it that they feel like this? Because I don't think they have felt anything like this before. This is like the lighting of the divine spark. If I actually pair up these two cards, <clears throat> it's like there was a fire that was lit and then the heart started glowing and then the energy of the heart keeps you know, uh, circulating and I see this person's heart glowing as well. So this person's heart was set on fire. The divine flame of the twin flame was awakened in this person. And, um, you know, they might have a bit of a problem uh, trying to understand why is it that they have such intense feelings. I'm pushed to actually talk about their feelings because I'm getting this very strongly. I feel your person might have been a bit aloof or maybe standoffish or something like that. And, um, you know, I, I feel that they were very logic centered and they were not very used to having such emotions. And now it's like a flood of it has been introduced to them. And 
they are a little <laughs> the energy i'm getting is they're a little intimidated by it right they're intimidated by their own emotions somehow i do not see <clears throat> a lot of uh, your energy in this i'm not seeing that but for some of you um just excuse me please <clears throat> for some of you i feel um it's possible you guys are waiting for this person because i see this girl waiting and i also see this one um you know being a little queen of souls <laughs> so maybe uh you know uh, the other person in this connection that is you the viewer okay maybe you guys are not the types to you know like show a lot of your emotion you have a very cool um standoffish almost arrogant air about you but deep in your heart your feelings are very intense your flame has been lit and you are waiting for this person uh to get in touch with you i sense all right for for you, for the viewer i sense this is what is going on you're waiting for your person maybe to awaken maybe to send you a message something like that but you're not running after them this is not a runner chaser dynamic at all i'm not seeing that right you're very calm very composed very much in control and yes somewhere i think you know that you know uh, the flame has been lit somewhere you know that this person loves you the way you love them all right and you are just biding your time you've embraced it you've embraced the connection okay and now you're just looking for an opportunity to connect with this person when they connect back when they connect to you for some of you you might be the one who sends a message i'm not seeing that for too many people but for some of you i do sense that you might be the one to initiate it right <clears throat> but mostly i'm seeing you waiting for some sort of a move from your person's side all right so um i feel that you know um for some of you i also feel that you know it it's it's possible that you are also being guided i don't know why but i'm sensing a lot of divine guidance in this because you know i see butterflies here <clears throat> i see this wand emerging you know right off the ground i see an eagle here and these two wands are in the sky i see stars here right and a eternity symbol and a globe and then here i see the whole planet there is something about this connection being divinely guided <clears throat> there are i sense for both of you there are being sent numerous um you know synchronicities signs and signals uh to keep you guys on this journey and not panic and run because i sense both of you are very intense people you know there is this um i sense for both of you actually this has been a uh, quite an intense awakening i don't think even you were expected to feel something like this the way you guys are feeling neither did your twin flame i think both of you are caught up or were caught up in this blood dance which is you know withdrawing yourself and going deep within to introspect what are these feelings and analyze what these feelings are but somewhere i sense there is a sense of surrender i'm seeing mirroring energies here somehow and twin flames mirror right i'm seeing mirroring energies from both your sides uh of waiting of um analyzing embracing the connection you know and that's because the universe is uh the divine is bringing you guys together it's the divine i see these two wands <coughs> these two wands in the air right they don't have any base here but they're just floating in the air it's almost as though you were uh, you know like bought up you were um risen up by the divine to um acknowledge and experience this connection and twin flame connections you cannot control and as much as what i know about them 
uh, twin flame connections are always um, orchestrated or or um, kind of guided uh, only by the divine forces. You cannot, even if you want to, you know, get into a physical union, get into communication, it's going to happen only in divine timings. It's just out of your hands. I mean, that's just one part of it. You might believe something else, you know, um, I definitely believe that, you know, this is divinely guided. Once you've done your shadow work, once your blocks have been released, this connection automatically keeps coming closer and closer and closer together right uh so coming back to this pile for a recap i'm i'm seeing that uh pile one your twin flame um is in the process of embracing this connection the awakening has happened but they are right now in the process of um embracing and accepting this connection and very soon, once they do this, uh, they are going to look for an opportunity to connect with you and embrace this connection and come into union. All right. I'm seeing a lot of potential for this connection. I, in fact, feel that, you know, uh, this card is more about the divine mission. This is about the mission. I'm seeing the planet card here so this is really really telling me that this is not just about the union here this connection is going to be about how both your union is going to affect the planet the heart of the planet right um how are your energies uh, your collective energies the energies of the union of both uh, yourselves is going to affect the planet this is going to be about the mission and that is the reason uh, why the divine is orchestrating this connection because it is not just about meeting your twin flame being in in you know harmony and union and enjoying bliss no <laughs> this is a gift that is being given to you by the universe so that by the divine so that you can contribute and give of this beautiful abounding love that you have growing within your heart once you come into union with this person with your twin so this is really beautiful guys there is something very very strong and very um, positive in this connection um, to recap your twin flame is awakened to this connection but they're dealing with it <laughs> and uh, believe me the twin flame journey is, is I mean from whatever I have heard of it from my clients um, you know I really feel it, it, it can be really crazy whatever I've experienced for myself as well you know it's 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 indeed something that needs some analysis <laughs> okay right so with that i'm going to go to the second pile okay so pile number two uh this is the brown buddha solar plexus chakra three of pentacles seven of pentacles the high priestess guardian of the soul family success and growth okay please give me a minute
okay pile two <laughs> right off the bat i'm happy seeing this pile it's one of the positive ones so i don't know who has picked this but this is very interesting uh stuff <clears throat> with the high priestess here and the success and growth card three of pentacles seven of pentacles solar plexus all of these cards are literally screaming yes yes <laughs> your twin flame is very much awakened to this connection but it's possible they're keeping it a secret at this time all right because what i'm sensing here is that there is something about them working um on their foundations there is something about them working on their confidence on their foundations being patient and waiting for success and growth so that they can come forward to you i sense it, this is actually a very straightforward pile i i feel that your person um they are probably not in such a big hurry they're awakened to, to this connection but they're keeping it a secret because maybe maybe this person is working on themselves on their confidence on their foundations and their success and growth in whatever area of life it is it, it, it could be in finances in career in self-worth something like that your person is building their confidence and they're quite patient about it i sense i mean i don't know if your twin flame is really aware of this concept they could be just someone who feels this um deep soul connection what i'm seeing is that your twin flame feels this connection um as very intense um as a very intense sacred connection the feelings are very deep very intense super psychic super spiritual they know that this is a sacred relationship they might not have a label for it right but this is something that is strongly growing and succeeding in your person's life i am seeing success and growth seven of pentacles and three of pentacles as all cards of growth uh pile number two your person is your twin flame is awakened to this connection aware of this connection most probably but maybe not sharing it with you for some reason but the feelings they have are very solid very grounded and they're growing by the day <laughs> with the seven of pentacles i'm seeing this person literally waiting for you know um, the the fruits to ripen and here also we see a plant growing and the leaves sprouting and with the three of pentacles i'm once again seeing this person like painting something and making you know like a uh some sort of a picture or some sort of a structure um you know um to this connection all right i feel your person is taking it um slow and steady but with a lot of positivity and patience i don't know where you stand in this connection but i definitely sense that your person is waiting and um i sense they're waiting they're keeping it a secret because somewhere your person needs to concentrate on their self worth and i think that's the reason maybe you know your person is um keeping this connection a uh, secret these feelings a secret it's possible you are someone um you know who is more educated uh with better finances or something like that there, there's a sense of this person working to come up to par with you uh palto okay um or even if not to come up to par with you but even uh to kind of grow in their self worth grow in their um material practical uh life so that they could offer you this success and growth in this relationship 
they definitely are awakened to this connection in terms of their feelings all right but now they want to give you something which is tangible i'm seeing pentacles here two pentacle cards here which means that this person is someone who doesn't just leap into connection so it's possible that you know you're wondering you know you feel intense feelings as well i do sense that for both of you um you know you both are sensing this connection very strongly but you are probably either one of you is hiding or you know you are hiding or they are hiding or both of you are hiding your feelings right now you might be wondering and you know um why is this person keeping these feelings a secret um but i i feel that you are very patiently waiting for this connection to flower and grow and meanwhile i'm not sensing any um kind of anxiety any sort of uh, you know a uh, running or chasing or any of those dynamics here i am in fact sensing um both of you at this time um concentrating uh, on your self worth it's possible you are involved in building something they are involved in building something maybe their career maybe their business but there's a sense of patience i sense that you guys are either you know you have been in this connection for quite some time and you know it's you know a twin flame connection and you know it's going to grow and flower sometime and you don't really feel this push and pull and uh, stuff like that i mean i think you have ascended uh in this connection for some of you in this uh connection uh, in this connection in this pile i sense for some of you i feel um you know it's possible you are aware that you know um of this aware or awakened to this connection but maybe you guys don't know that it's a twin flame connection and so you're just taking it easy all right you are working on yourself they are working on themselves and you know once you come into um a stable structure for your life uh for relationships i sense there's going to be a meeting of both of you uh in this connection and a flowering of a uh, success and growth within this connection i'm seeing a lot of success and growth in this pile once both of you have done your inner work and i sense that is very much needed especially from your twin flame side they are very very much involved in uh some work you know maybe something that they are building together you know a building at this time and i sense that they're waiting for the fruits to ripen so that they can collect them and then offer you something uh, pretty major okay i'm going to read this card this is a number 8 card and we have two number 8s here uh, which is the symbol of eternity all right so i'm going to read this uh the guidance of this oracle for you is that the relationship healing is taking place in present relationships unfolding in attracting the right relationships for future growth and in leaving behind relationships of the past with a peaceful heart be gentle with your heart all is well when i open my heart you cover me with a blanket of love and warm the silence with your caress words unspoken say it all as we become more than we are alone <laughs> yeah so it it's it's almost like you know this is this poem to me is is telling me that there is growth i mean this poem as well as the stanza here this paragraph here is telling me there is growth happening and we are seeing success and growth this is a connection that will come together um in its own time but it will come together i am seeing that all right uh it is something that you know the foundations are still being built i sense in terms of either both of you or either of you the foundations are still being built at this point the confidence levels the solar plexus chakra is being worked upon and probably at this time neither of you might be aware of this connection 
right? Uh, neither of you might be aware that this is a twin flame connection. It's possible one of you is aware. It's possible they are aware. It's possible you are not aware. Something is hidden in this connection and it is going to be revealed, you know, when it's the right time. All right, so your twin flame, um, pile number two, is someone who's very practical, very logical, and awakened uh, to their feelings about this connection. The feelings run very deep. Your person is intuitively also connecting with you. I am seeing with the high priestess that there is a deep knowing in your person's heart, um, consciously as well as intuitively that um, you know this connection is real uh, or this connection is something deep something inexplicable you know I feel your person is your twin is very very much in contact with their higher self their inner self their intuition their psychic insight it's also possible that you guys connect psychically in the 5d telepathically your twin flame is awakened to this connection possibly uh you know in an intuitive realm if you haven't met them yet right uh if you have met them then yes this person is having very deep feelings for you very sacred feelings for you intense but they're keeping it a secret possibly uh, because they don't think it's the right time or they don't understand the label. But for most of you, I sense your person is awakened and quite aware of this connection, pile two. They are possibly uh, waiting for you to recognize. Some of you, I feel they're possibly waiting for you to um, understand this connection and they're being very, very um, supportive. They're being very um, understanding, very patient. They understand that it all happens in divine timing and uh, maybe they know that you are um, at this time... Um, kind of working on your self-worth right and psychically i sense that they might be sensing that um because this person is very intuitive right uh, so they are in no hurry um for your awakening or something like that if you are not awakened yet uh, i also feel that this person um they somewhere are I don't know, I'm just getting very strong vibes from this pile. When I see um, the card guardian of the soul family, it's almost like your person is, I, I don't know, is your person someone spiritual or something? Because I'm seeing that it's possible that the person that you're inquiring about, your twin flame, um, is someone very spiritual. Like I'm sensing like a lot of, psychic energies it's almost like this person is um like a leader or guardian of other people so it's possible this is someone who is in the public eye maybe a celebrity maybe um someone who is very inspirational i'm seeing you know when i pair these two cards up the high priestess and the guardian of the soul family this is a person who has who is in some capacity leading people or guarding people or something like that all right for some of you i feel that also might be the case and that's probably the reason why um i'm seeing that uh, you know they kind of intuitively know that you know uh, this connection is going to work out all right if you are the one that is unawakened your twin is definitely someone who is aware and also understand that it's just a matter of time uh, before this connection is going to come together and flourish all right um, if you are aware and maybe if you are looking at um, your twin who is probably like I said you know someone very spiritual someone you look up to or something like that um, then it's possible that you know um, you are the one they are waiting for you to come to a position of confidence 
in yourself so that you can approach them all right because that's what i'm sensing i mean this is solar plexus is all about confidence there's something about uh, you guys not being confident enough to come forward and tell uh, this person about your feelings you sense it you know it you're you're probably even psychically connecting with your twin flame but maybe you are not feeling worthy enough maybe you feel it's not the right time maybe you feel this person is out of your league or something like that but this person is very well aware of you even if you haven't met i mean strange as that sounds but you know the whole thing about twin flame connections is <laughs> strange now, i'm not in one but i i have had uh, you know uh, people coming to me and uh, telling me <laughs> you know about the different things and i believe it you know i totally believe it <clears throat> i will know when i experience it obviously <laughs> but um, there is something about this connection um that you know uh, there is something about this pile i just feel it's just a matter of confidence you guys um you know either your twin is not confident enough uh, to come to you or you are not confident something like that is there in this scenario so please take it as it resonates i feel that there is a lot of success and growth um when you guys come together when i see <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, success and growth, and solar plexus chakra. I also sense that maybe you know you guys might be in business together or something like that. If you're not already in it, then maybe in the future you guys might share a similar platform, you know, of work. I'm getting a strong vibe of work here because of the Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles is generally building something of lasting value. uh this could also be um you know the mission this could also be the mission that both of you have once you have come into union i am seeing you guys creating maybe something like a uh, organization or um or something you know to to sort of uh, move forward on your mission I'm definitely seeing that as the next step after the success, growth, and flowering, right? So, I feel so. To recap, um, pile two, your twin flame is quite aware of this connection. They are intuitively aware. If not consciously, if you haven't met, they are intuitively aware. If you have met, they are consciously and intuitively aware. It's possible you guys are connecting telepathically, also maybe in dreams, maybe in five D, something like that. Uh, but they are being patient because, uh, you know, in one one of the scenarios, they are being patient with you so that you can come up to par with them because they sense that maybe you know you are working towards your own internal growth external growth something like that but this person they know that you are going to come together eventually and uh, you know uh, go forward towards building something you know uh, to do with the mission all right the other scenario that i'm getting is that your twin flame is somebody who has uh who might be having uh, issues of self worth and that is the reason why they're keeping this connection under wraps but they do feel uh you know the sacredness and the intensity of this connection but until the time they're more confident uh you know they would like to wait and build up their base build up their confidence and then uh come to you uh to offer you something more tangible and something more better okay so these are the two main scenarios that i'm seeing i also sense that there is there is with the high priest is card <clears throat> the third scenario yes that i was mentioning was maybe your your twin flame is someone who's in the public eye or something like that and probably that's the reason why uh you know you are uh, kind of feeling a little not very worthy of this person uh but you know 
this person is aware uh, of this connection and they're just waiting for you to make the first move because you know somewhere uh, you know they want to start off with this mission thing and somewhere they also know that you know um this is going to lead to so much love and happiness and growth and success with this pile, I, I'm getting a very strong vibe of success. There's going to be a lot of abundance in your life once you guys join your energies together. So whatever the scenario is, uh, pile two, um, uh, you know, I do feel that uh, for a lot of you, your twin is awakened and aware and just waiting for you uh, to establish contact. Okay? So, um, pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm really loving doing this reading today. Do I have anything else? Yeah, I think primarily the energies I'm getting is that, you know, your twin flame is someone very awakened, maybe spiritual, maybe somebody who's very confident in the external world, maybe someone who's, you know, having some sort of an organization, is someone very successful, uh, you know, all of that stuff. And maybe that is the reason, uh, you know, you are maybe questioning uh, you know, is is this person even aware of me? Would they even consider me? Maybe that's the reason why you're having confidence issues, uh, you know, so, stuff like that. But you are actually encouraged to come into your confidence because love is, is about... Mm, the heart and I don't think it matters really uh, you know what your position in, in 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 the external world is how much money you have how much stability you have all of that stuff because um, you can grow together you will grow together even if you are not at the, the status or position your twin flame is in you, maybe after coming together I'm seeing that you are going to grow together so get the confidence. I'm getting this very strongly. I don't know why the solar plexus uh, card is really, really attracting me. I sense you need to find the confidence to uh, reach out to this person because there's so much abundance and blooming that's going to come to you once you do that. This person is aware. I'm getting it very strongly. They're building something. They're aware. They're patient and <clears throat> just waiting for you to probably come to them <clears throat> and if you are ready to come to them then the other scenario is that they want to uh, keep this um, under wraps for some time because it's possible they are not feeling that confident or they are concentrating on their external world their material abundance and all of that stuff but you know once they're done with it you are going to be together and this is going to be a very successful connection right so this is what I, I don't know, I could just keep talking for this pile for some reason, but I guess I've talked enough. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So uh, pile three. Let's see. Pile three with the orange Buddha. Feeling alone. What is it? How awakened or aware is your twin flame uh, to this connection? Angel of Jupiter awakened. The moon. Five of Wands. Ace of Cups, Heart Chakra. Okay, please give me one minute.
okay <clears throat> so pile three so pile three what i'm seeing here it's possible i think for pile three that a lot of you might be in separation all right you might be in separation feeling alone wishing for your twin to be with you to awaken it's possible you guys had some sort of an argument or some sort of a split and that's the reason why you are feeling alone and you are probably at a distance and in separation i do sense that for a lot of you okay um i do feel that your twin at this point is or please take it as it resonates because it's possible i'm going to take these in stages as to what what i'm seeing so it's possible your person your twin is in any of these stages so please take it as it resonates please apply it as it fits right so what i feel is that when the connection started i feel there was some um resistance in your person's mind okay they could not it's possible it was a compatibility issue with you or it's just possible this person was conflicted about their feelings for you with the heart chakra angel of jupiter awaken ace of cups i'm seeing and the moon card i'm sensing deep deep emotion in your person i mean i don't think this person ever ever really experienced anything like that the moon is also i'm seeing such a big moon here it's like they never i think your twin flame thinks that you are the most beautiful thing that they ever saw i'm getting such depths of emotion here very very deep right i think this is a runner chaser dynamic to some extent but please apply it as it fits i don't like to use labels but i sense that your twin flame was not used to the depth of emotion uh, that they were feeling for you that they felt for you and so it's possible that you know they they kind of went away or they detached or something like that all right because with this feeling alone card i'm seeing you um you know watching them and these are both fives and fives are five is a number of of upheaval and change all right so i'm seeing this as a lot of upheaval in this connection right um either your person was not ready or you were not ready for the depth of the feelings that you um actually experienced that it it sort of made them feel a little lost i feel they just could not believe that they were feeling such intensity they were probably having a uh, psychic and intuitive um sort of impressions as well about you and that just kind of scared this person i sense i i'm getting the energy of your person being a little intimidated and scared um of this connection <clears throat> or it could be you please take it as it resonates it's possible it could be you also <coughs> sorry so what i'm seeing here is that you know they kind of withdrew you know they wanted to be alone after all of this stuff that they faced the conflict they faced about their feelings i sense there might have been a lot of shadow work that your person went through because the moon is the split side of the sun so there is something to do with shadow work something emerging out of the deep subconscious uh self it's possible there was a lot there were blockages that were being cleared there was a time of intense change uh within your twin in this connection or within both of you all right they were some major i'm sensing there were some major blockages that had to be cleared something was murky in the depths in the subconscious depths possibly still is i'm not sure which um stage you are in in this journey but i do feel that 
And this was a lot to do with blockages, shadow work, all of that stuff. And I think you guys are either going through it, your twin is going through it, or you are going through it. And both of you, I sense, are kind of feeling this energy of loneliness. I'm sensing loneliness here, you know. I'm sensing them thinking of you. I see the moon here. I see the moon here. So telepathically, you guys are linked. But this this confusion, this conflict comes in the way. All right. They think of you. They miss you. You miss them. You have a light on for them. And it's just a matter of... Uh, getting out of this ego trap or this conflict or just finishing this purging process to come into union. There is shadow work here. There is a lot of clearing of blockages that is needed in this connection, pile three. Now, once that is done, I am seeing some sort of a unexpected new beginning in this connection. You might have thought that this is over, but I'm seeing this as a divine, divine uh, coordination as all twin flame relationships are that way. I see this connection coming up again, renewed. Once the blockages are cleared, the water is going to flow unencumbered without any blockage. I'm seeing the clearing of blockages. I'm seeing the re-emergence of peace and love. And this, I sense, is going to happen via divine coordination. If you, say, if you see, um, you know, all the three cards here are green and green is the color of love. It's the color of ha the heart chakra and we see this heart chakra here as well. This pile, pile number three, is all about clearing of blockages to come into union all right with your twin flame either they have to clear the blockages uh, or you have to or i sense maybe both of you have to do that to come together in perfect union all right because twins do mirror each other so it's possible you also have blockages somewhere right i'm seeing that there is going to come a time where after the blockages are, um, you know, uh, removed, that this energy, um, this connection is going to be re-established in a much more expansive and stronger way than before. It's almost like, you know, uh, it started on a tiny scale at one point, but it couldn't really take off because it was not ripe enough. But now that you guys have done your internal work, um, you know, this is going to expand. Angel of Jupiter awaken. Jupiter is a planet of expansion. I'm seeing a tidal wave. And then I'm seeing this cup flowing over, the holy grail, the um, cup of true love, right? Um, this is going to come back again. I don't know <laughs> if you want it. Um, of course, it's absolutely your, um, your wish and your will, whether you want it or not. But I'm seeing the re-emergence of this connection on a much, much grander and bigger scale. Pile number three. All right. This is all a lot of love that has been accumulated since lifetimes and lifetimes. How can it stay clogged? It, it, it's not possible uh, your heart chakra is needs to be open it will be opened fully you know once this <coughs> expansion happens I'm also seeing the number six here which is the number of love right so after change we come into love right so this is uh, the main theme that I'm seeing uh, you know so your twin flame you know it's the same thing they are going to have a huge expansion in their perception of this connection, in the emotions that they feel towards you, and also in clearing of the blockages to come towards you. They are going to awaken very strongly, I sense, Pile 3. Possibly your person awakened, but not to the full extent, I sense. Because I am seeing conflict. It's like your person ran away. 
they could not face this awakening right they just wanted to be alone to understand what it is that they are feeling because there is so such deep waters here that you know it can get a little scary twin flame connections can be very scary because they have such depth that you can get lost and i sense that you know your person was your twin flame was scared of losing themselves in the depths of losing their ego self all right and now that they have um faced the challenge the pain of separation from you of feeling alone what looking out for you missing you wanting you yearning for you um they are going to at some point of time in the future going to um have a very explosive opening awakening of their heart of their uh, awareness of this connection all these three cards are green beautiful it's a resplendent green this person it's almost as though you know some someone just plumbed their depths and they just had to open up this is coming out the water here is coming out with such force it's making me feel that you know your twin is going to have a very rapid very accelerated and very powerful awakening in the future pile through so be ready for that <laughs> okay um i'm going to read out this card as well angel of jupiter awakens <clears throat> let's see what it says the oracle holds a message of guidance for you you are being given an opportunity that can change your life don't hesitate to accept it if you are acting with more assertiveness more generosity uh more playfulness and more spiritual authority than usual this is a confirmation that this is coming from a genuine place within you if you are experiencing some havoc in your life or a sense that things are changing the oracle comes as an affirmation yes there is change and yes you are outgrowing what once was so you will be prepared to receive that which is more suited for your next stage of growth a week a week in your arms i wait to stop time savoring each moment for an eternity like an angel you light the room your love giving life to the love i've held within unbridled and free our dream unfolds and we are forever changed this is exactly what i was saying your your love giving life to the love i've held within this person is holding so much love for you and this card indicates that they are going to come into a very powerful awakening of this connection at a certain point of time in the future all right it's just their defenses their blocks that are keeping them away in this lonely energy um and i sense that you know uh you know this moon whenever i get the moon card or any kind of a moon that i see over here and i see this in two places it means there's very major intuition between both of you or at least with one of you i sense it could be you all right i sense you know what your twin is going through um because you are connected psychically psychically or intuitively as most twins are okay um <clears throat> but i sense a feeling of um <coughs> a sort of hopelessness here you know a yearning is what i'm getting it's like you want to help this person but you know you've tried your best possibly to do it it just sort of ended up in a fight or something like that and they ran anyway so there is a sense of you know um being a bit lost about what how can you help your twin how right because they just won't accept help in the physical world it's possible you are energetically sending them healing or something like that and this is an affirmation here that your healing is helping it's like i'm i'm getting a feeling of you know um these layers 
uh, being plumbed you know layers and layers of blockages are healing within your twin uh, you know to get them out uh, of this heart chakra blockage i'm sensing very strong heart chakra blockage in your twin it's possible that uh, you know your uh, twin has issues with being emotionally available um they probably have repressed emotions they don't know how to express properly um it's possible they are even going through a very uh, confusing time in their lives that's another thing i'm getting actually for pile 3 it's possible your twin is also going through a very conflicted confusing lost sort of a time in their life and you know i feel that at this time they really want you with them but since they kind of short circuited this this connection since you are in separation probably for some reason uh, they are unable to kind of you know like ask you for help i feel this person might be going through something like a dark night of the soul at this point i also feel that they might be having a very lost time in their um everyday uh life as well maybe in their careers maybe in their personal lives they are they are not feeling very good this person is not feeling good your twin is not feeling good at this point but please take it as it resonates it's possible your twin has had this awakening already and very soon is going to um you know uh come towards you um with this heart full and overflowing with love and with this card i feel and if, if your twin has reached that place and has come to you i'm sensing so much of so much of expansion in all areas of your life in all spheres of your life whether it is um emotional financial material spiritual i am seeing levels and levels of development happening once you guys join forces so this is very beautiful energy if your twin is here very near to here uh then you can be prepared for a major expansion of your life uh and your um self your soul um what else am i getting with the ace of cups i don't know why i just feel that this is like almost like a blessing that has been given to um you know both of you for for going through this struggle i sense the struggle that you guys have been in you know it it it's gone on for a while it's not been easy it's not been easy and i feel that this is the divine gifting you after all these trials and tribulations this is the divine gifting you uh with the holy grail the cup of love the divine love that you've always wanted it's like the clouds are parting and you know there is this dove with all this light and this fountain here this is beautiful i don't know i just can't keep i just can't stop looking at this card for some reason it's like life renewed you know you you would not even picture how it would happen i don't want you to get stuck on this concept you know obviously we all have work to do before we get our gift but and especially in twin flame relationships the work is quite hard is what i feel so this is what i i am seeing to recap um i feel uh pile 3 that your twin is is probably a runner if not a runner then is probably someone who is trying to understand uh, the depths and does not want to face them or has gone through a period of not wanting to face their deepest feelings for you all right because of whatever conflicts and blocks they had but once they start feeling this 
um, yearning for you, the separation for you, there is going to be an opportunity offered by the divine uh, to come to a very strong awakening of in this connection. All right, your twin basically is kind of not very, you know, they're not awakened. They're not awakened, they're fighting it. The feelings are very, very strong, but they're, fight, they're fighting the whole, um, they're fighting their feelings, basically. Your, your twin is not awakened yet, or at least very little awakened, or partially awakened. But their awakening is going to be very big, very strong, and very rapid also, I sense. I mean, it's not necessarily it's going to be rapid, although I do feel with the Ace of Cups it might. All right, this person's awakening is due, and it's going to be a strong one. And once it happens, you know, you will not recognize this connection for how it used to be. So it's almost like it's split in two, you know, one side is this and next side is this. So once they've covered their, uh, they've uh, cleared their blockages, once they've done their shadow work, I also sense you have, uh, you know, work to do as well, pile three, okay? You also have some blocks in your heart chakra most probably, it could even be your sacral, uh, but, you know, I do feel that, you know, once you guys have, you know cleared your um, blockages this union is imminent and it's going to happen and your twin is going to awaken and this gift is going to be given to you for all your hard work for you struggling to love yourself and by way of that loving your twin I do sense that, you know, you guys uh, send each other healing energies. You are intuitively very, very connected. But it's possible, you know, either they or you are setting up walls so that this communication doesn't flow so um, clearly. So I leave it to you what you want to do about that. But I do sense this beautiful Ace of Cups as something very positive and then followed by angel of jupiter awaken and heart heart chakra this is some very good stuff that you can look forward to pile three okay so if you are feeling a little lost and uh, downcast about this connection you know there is definitely hope in the future all right so with that i'm going to <clears throat> close this reading I must say I really, really had a very good time doing this. I think I'm going to probably, uh, you know, talk more on Twin Flames in the future, on various topics. I would love to, that, you know, you could, if you could give me some more topics on Twin Flames uh, without us really getting stuck to labels. Um, you know, let's explore some more about Twin Flames like, the psychic connect and uh, <clears throat> uh, the telepathic connections, the emotional connection, etc. Because um, I'm kind of fascinated by this topic. Um, I'm not uh, really in a twin flame union or anything, nor am I in that kind of a relationship, but I'm very intrigued about it. <laughs> I must say, I'm very intrigued right so i would love it if you could give me some topics and um, i look forward to that all right please let me know how it this video resonated and um and i'm looking forward to your comments thank you so much bye bye